Stripping paint. There's lots of ways to strip paint off a miniature. And there is things like this. Paint remover from Green Stuff World is one. There's, you know, other not sort of miniature company uh, products like different detergents and whatnot that you can use to strip paint with. A lot of people seem to be using uh, really strong alcohol, like 99, 98% alcohol to strip paint off of miniatures. And I thought, well, what about the stuff that you use to kill germs on your hands with alcohol gel or um, hand disinfectant, whatever you want to call it. It's 85% alcohol. So it's pretty, pretty strong, but also got some kind of gel, which should, you know, it should sort of stick to the miniature. So I thought, you know, can I strip my, strip the paint off my miniatures using alcohol gel? So I'm going to test on this uh, dwarf. There's a, a cannon and a crew, a dwarf, old hammer, I'm going to put, you know, one of them in alcohol gel and see what happens. And I'm also going to put one of them because I want to test this stuff, uh, the Green Stuff World's uh, paint remover. And, you know, so I have some kind of a comparison between the two. So here goes one little dwarfy into uh, the alcohol gel and then another one into the uh, Green Stuff World's paint remover. By the way, I'm not... Uh, currently sponsored by Green Stuff World. It was just uh, what I found at my local friendly um, game store. By the way, I don't know if you hear that strange sound. There's not like an orc in my kitchen. It's the um, uh, coffee machine. So I left it in there for about eight minutes uh, in the alcohol gel and then, you know, gave it a bit of a rub and the paint just came straight off, like literally flaking off. But what I did notice once it was flaking off is that the, this miniature is not primed. It's not been rattle can primed. It's just been, I've just painted it on top of the, uh, like at first it's a coffee machine and now it's like a helicopter. I am a bit curious why I didn't rattle can spray or base coat these at all, but I guess I was 12. The green stuff uh, world, the stuff that's been in the uh, paint remover from green stuff world sort of comes off as well, but not as easily. I sort of have to rub a bit more with the toothpick to, to get it out. Okay, so now the coffee's done. So I left it in there for a bit longer, um, so 20 minutes in total, and like using a, a toothbrush, the, the dwarf that was in the, uh, in the alcohol gel is just really flaking off. The other dwarf that's been in the uh, Green Stuff World uh, paint remover, it's just not coming off as rapidly. There's a layer of paint still underneath. It's not flaking off as with the dwarf. So I just chucked the, all of them into the alcohol gel. I was also sort of curious about the fact that there's no undercoat, like nothing massively sticking to this metal. And the fact that it's metal, like paint sticks in, probably in different ways to metal or to, to plastic. So I took one of my test painted night haunts. It's basically been Cenethal primed with Games Workshop black and then uh, white, and then painted with Vallejo colors. See how it works. On, on, on a plastic miniature. You know, does the does the plastic get damaged in any way or whatever? I, I wanted to give that a try. This time and I was just really confusing me because I put it in when I put the first dwarf in and now we're on to like this mad skeleton with a sigh. Now the alka gel just didn't really do the trick. It's sort of scrubbing off. Oh. First it's coffee, then it's helicopter, and now the neighbors are drilling holes in their walls. It's Sunday. I guess everyone's out flying their helicopter or home improving. So after a lot of scrubbing, I'm sort of getting off the first layer of paint, but it's not doing anything to the rattle can priming underneath. And the thing as well with like, because it's alcohol, it evaporates. So after, you know, rubbing it around for a while, it's not as potent anymore. And it's just ending up to be more and more gel and less and less alcohol. Jump back to the first dwarf. It's like, you know, there's a lot of action here that's in this stuff. And now it's just, so it's been there for about an hour, I think. And uh, it's just, you know, it's just melting away. Not only just melting away, it's also melting away in all the cracks. It's 
all of the paint is completely coming off, even the stuff that's in sort of small, yeah. Um, and just a quick toothbrush on there and it's all gone. It does smell really bad though. Back to my confusing timer. I'm attacking the other dwarves that's been in the alcohol gel. And I'm sort of realizing that at first it, you know, the first, it flakes off really easily at first, but it doesn't really attack anything in the crevices. Some areas, it's just not really coming off. So in the end, when it came to my dwarves in metal, uh, you know, after an hour, an hour and a half, in either of these actually turned out to be pretty much the same thing. It was initially the alcohol gel like ripped through the paint, but it was really difficult to get sort of stuff, uh, imagine chain mail or armpits or whatever. It was, I, I had to put a bit, a bit of, you know, elbow grease in to get it off. Whereas the Green Stuff World paint remover just took longer, but once time had passed, it was a lot easier just to, you know, get it off, even in the armpits or all the crevices. But what about my uh, night haunt? So it's now been in alcohol gel for about three hours. And, well, that's not true because my timer is confusing. Two hours? Some of the paint is gone, but it's done nothing to the, to the base layer, to the rattle can. And even some of the other paint is not coming off. So I move on to my dwarves. Uh, basically, I'm now I'm just going to clean them off. This is a, a good tip. However you um, decide to uh, strip the paint off your miniatures, make sure you clean them properly afterwards. Like if it would be a shame if you have paint remover stuck on your miniature and then paint it with residue of a paint remover on there. Uh, it would be a bit of a shame. Also, when you clean it, usually preferably is with water in a sink. Um, I sometimes use a bit of a detergent and then water and rinse it. Have something to cover up the sink so that all the small bits don't, you know, disappear out to feed the crocodiles out in the delta. In the end, both versions uh, turned out really well stripped. But I think, you know, the fact that it's metal miniatures that were not primed in any way had something to do with it. Because if we go back to my, um, my night haunt, um, you know, not much is happening there. 18 hours in and uh, like I left it overnight in, in the alcohol gel and I added more and more. So, you know, it, I added fresh alcohol gel and it's just not attacking, it's, it's not attacking the paint at all. So what I did is, um, you know, I uh, took it out, washed it off and put it in the Green Stuff World thingy instead. And then what happened is uh, I forgot about it for about two days, I think, or three days. I'd like, it completely slipped my mind. And I thought I'd already filmed taking it out um, and, you know, seeing what happened, but I hadn't, I forgot about that too. But what did happen is that the, all the paint um, came off like uh, butter of toast. Can you say that? I don't know, I just, maybe just invented a new proverb. So this stuff works excellent. It removed, even though it was in there for an excessive amount of time, I guess. Oh, for God. Even though it was in there for a very long time, it did not harm the plastic miniature at all. All the paint came off completely. I was down to the grey plastic underneath. And then obviously I thought, you know, I'd, I'd um, <clears throat> stick on to the mini so that I could show you how well stripped it was. And I forgot about that too. I gave it to my son, which he, so he's painted it in a, you know, I'm, I'm kind of jealous about the, um, I, I don't know, I wish, I wish I would have just painted all my Stormcast Eternals like this, it would have been awesome. And also adding the, I don't know if you can see from there, I can shoot a close up. Also with like tufts growing on them. It's awesome. So I don't really have visual proof of uh, the effectiveness of this stuff, but it worked really well. 
So thanks for watching. Now you know, alcohol gel could work depending on the circumstances. And I reckon Green Stuff Wells paint remover will work uh, under all circumstances. I haven't tried them all, but you know, it, it worked on a plastic mini that was primed with a rattle can spray and it just removed everything. It didn't, you know, ruin the, the miniature. It does obviously destroy all kinds of glue. So you will, you know, your base will be probably ruined if, if you've got glue and things like that on there. But that would be the case with, with you know, any kind of stripping. And I'm, I mean, if you've got one of those, there's these vibrating things, you put your miniature in and it sort of uh, shakes it a little bit. I'm sure it'd be a lot faster than what I did. I just put it in a jar and shake it around every now and again. And then forgot about it. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Bye. I forgot to mention. Forgot one thing. I was talking about the price difference. I don't know really how big it is in the end. This was about, it says 110 kroner on here. So what's that, $12? Uh, this I don't know. It's probably cheaper, but it's not for free. But I mean, this is reusable. Just keep on using it for a while. This evaporates and you just have to throw it away. So, um, that's another thing to take in mind, that this is not reusable because the alcohol evaporates.